pretty good boil going. My chimney's froze to the ground underneath it. So I'm hoping that the separator uh, warm, heats everything up and melts everything off down there so I can get the chimney out and get done. But yeah, got a pretty he heavy boil going in the big pan. Too bad. Hey everybody, Wolfie here and Alex sort of on camera <laughs> um well it's syrup season a lot of snow still like well over like at least a foot of snow on the ground and while well, it's pretty well packed in the where the trail is now um we're let's see five days five days into our work we did a boil yesterday and that kind of uh Made me want to do some modifications to the Saporator 4000, my evaporator. Um, let's see. I don't know. We'll spin the camera around here and I'll just show you what I did. Okay, so as you can see, nothing's changed with the door. I got it up on cement blocks this year. And, well, we did some modification to it this morning this is the section of steel plate that the pan normally sat on and i had the holes drilled in it to help with the heat transfer but it just wasn't enough well i've been doing a lot of studying on and looking at the like factory built ones and stuff like that and just lots of other homemade ones and what i noticed is the pans sit right down in the fire so that's what we're doing now cut that back plate off hammered everything in over i got to clean that up as after the season's over when i got some time i'm thinking maybe make a flat bar frame that comes around to help hold the pan but for now we've got this back one just to help brace everything and we've got this lower one the pan actually rests on and i want to put a second one in as well but it lowered the pan three inches there's no no screwing around with heat diffusion from that steel plate kind of hard to see in there it's awful dark with the pan in place um I'm hoping this makes a big difference on boiling time. We boiled, I think, what was it, 56 liters yesterday down. It took 10 hours to boil that down. It should not take that long. And what I do is just fill the pan up, get it boiling, and then as it boils down, I just keep adding more sap. Common practice type thing. But yeah, this sits right down in here nice, where the handles are right on the edge of the frame. Makes it, going to make it easier for lifting and lowering the pan into place. Once I get everything all straightened out and stuff. So that's our modifications we made to hopefully speed up our processing time some. And I guess... Probably tomorrow we're going to find out because we've got another 30 liters, well, I guess, in there. And it's a pretty nice day. Sap's flowing good. So we'll see what we can do from there. But that, I guess that's about it. That's just wanted to share the slight modifications I've made. And I'll be sure to let everyone know how well that turns out. Harley will be here all next week with me 
kelp with syrup. I think I'm going to find something that I can set in under the back end of this on them blocks because it's sitting on a bit of an angle right now, like tilted back a bit. So we're going to solve that problem too today. Nothing spectacular, quick and easy fix, all that fun crap. Not bad at all so far. <laughs> Let's hope it works. <laughs> And, by the way, I still have enough room on the front for the warming pan or my kettle. Because, <laughs> while well, sitting here all day boiling, you got to have coffee. Okay. Well, the modifications to the separator have worked out awesome. Definitely increased our boiling time, so we're doing a small boil here, 22 liters of sap, well, a little bit more than that, about, I think around 23-ish, so just barely more. It'll be enough for two more bottles of syrup, so we're doing it so Harley can learn the process. Charlotte's here being a little sugar bush baby. Right now she's over there learning how to walk in the snow with her snow boots, new snow boots that she's got. Pretty cute little boots. I'm so tiny. <laughs> she's doing really good. She's trucking right along. But yeah, modifications definitely made a big difference. Boiling time's gotten a lot shorter. Just got to keep the fire going good. We're on day four of boiling. We've already, like, for my total for this trip. This is our second boil since Harley and Charlotte have got here. This is going to be another big one. We're pail and a half into our sap that we've collected. Still got another pail there and, and obviously the half pail here. As you, you can clearly see just how much of a difference it's made with the modifications I made to the separator. A nice massive boil going and it's been really easy to keep it going like that. Obviously it dies down a little bit when, as we add some of the extra sap to it, which it kind of needs at the moment. So. But it don't stay died down for long. It'll be right back up to a boil, like within a minute. Advantage to having the warming pan. It's not as, mu not as much of a shock to the boiling stuff as it gets added. Harley's gone off to collect some more fire starter kindling for the camp. Inside the... In, inside the stove at, in the cabin. We've got a pretty good stockpile happening for the separator. Took advantage of the fact we've used up all the wood in this little end part of the woodshed. This is all our separator wood. Nice mixture of poplar and maple. 
these big blocks we split them up again and get lots of small medium stuff and it keeps the separator going really well got to feed it feed the fire a little more often yeah and they're right back up to a good boil again so far so good I'm really happy with that I made the changes to the top of the separator so that pan sits right down in there we're up to we've already made three and a half liters of syrup this year so really nice weather yesterday today tomorrow is supposed to be really nice bit of rain coming tonight trees are still flowing good so we're all set to go